A number of people have asked me how to do navigation for their website, particularly because I've said that you can't use Flash. The reason that you can't use Flash is because navigation is one of the most important things in people navigating your site and also how search engines index your site. So search engines read your navigation as the very, very important pages in your website. If your website navigation is Flash, then Google can't actually read that to determine what are the most important pages. Also, 20% of your users can't actually see Flash because they don't have the Flash player installed and they've then taken out the most important part of navigating your site. So what we're gonna use instead is a cascading style sheet menu now these are really quite complex to make from scratch, but there's a number of sites on the web where you can download and customize a navigation system that you can use. This one here is cssmenumaker.com and there's a link on the PM Online page if you get stuck with that. What we're going to do is we're going to find one that we like. So if I click on here, that takes me to a number of different menu systems. But at the moment, for our purposes, I'm just going to show you this one. So this is how it will look, and you can customise that a little bit further if you know something about cascading style sheets, which would be great to see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Customise, and I am going to add, edit a submenu. Sorry, I'm going to add a button. Later on, if I want to add submenus to that, which is our drop-down part, we'll click on the green button. But at the moment, I'm going to hit Home, and I'm going to link that to index.htm. Now you should know what your file names are because they should be in the hierarchy chart that you were asked to do today, actually. So every single page in your hierarchy chart should have a file name. And that's really important because now when you go to link it, you'll know exactly what it's called, particularly when you're working in groups because different people might call things different things and then they're linking to files that don't exist. We are, do want to have that in the same window because we're doing it within the same website. But then if you had a, um, a website that you were going to that was external to your site, then it would probably be a good idea to have a new window. And if I wanted to add another button, then I'd click Add Button. I've actually created one previously, though, so I have already done a number of buttons here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do what we do here. I'm going to add a submenu. So I'm going to click on this green button here and that will take me to uh, the sub menu for what we do. I'm going to add a button here and I'm going to add what we do regarding poverty. Hopefully I could spell it right. Poverty. And we're going to call that pov.htm because that's what I've decided in my other system and I'm going to add another button that does has to do with homelessness. And I'm going to call that home.htm. Now, at the moment, I'm going to go back to my main menu. So my main menu still has the same amount of elements, but then underneath about us, we would have a number of other ones. So I'm going to preview it now. And this is my menu. Now, if I wanted to change that, I would go back and keep editing it. But at the moment, I don't. I want to download it. Now, when you download it, you'll be asked to save your file. It'll be a zip file. And I'm going to open that up. Obviously, I have a lot of files here. What I have here is three pages. One is a sample, and that's actually just a sample of my page. Now, notice it says, do not use this code in my website. So that's just to double check what it is. There are installation instructions. Okay, and there are also some files within the menu. These files here need to be copied into the same folder um, that, oops, not open, sorry, into the same folder that, copy, that you have your website in. So I'm going to do my documents and I'm going to create a new folder here for website. And I'm going to paste those items in there. So that is the cascading style sheet. That sets out, and you might have seen that before when I accidentally opened it. This sets out all of the cascading code that shows how your um, items are going to be set out. 
So you'll notice if you go, the menu here um, has a list of elements. One of those elements are that it references a specific GIF file. That GIF file is in the images here. So you need both of those things if your menu is going to work properly. Now, if we go back to our installation folder, upload the menu folder to the root directory of your website. We've done that. Copy and paste the code below to your desired spot in your site. So what I can do is just take this and I'm going to copy. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my website and my website is here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to paste that here. What happens is it pastes a whole heap of code into my website. Now that's obviously a problem. What you need to do is not paste it directly into the design view. You need to go to your code and notice that my, um, my cursor is here. I need to go to my code and I need to paste it in underneath my header here. So wherever it was selected, it's going to go directly under that. So what I'm going to do here is paste. And if I go back to my design view, you'll notice that I have some form of navigation here. Now, my problem is that if I go to the code, what I actually need to do, which they don't give you instructions for here, is this line here doesn't particularly work well here. We're going to delete it. I'll just show you that line again. So it's from style to end style. We're going to delete that code there. And what we're going to do is go back to design view and I'm going to show you how to link a CSS style. Now your Dreamweaver might look a little bit different to mine because mine is CS4 and yours is not. Okay, so what you're going to do is under CSS styles, on CS3, there's actually a little link down the bottom and it looks like a hyperlink. It looks like this one here. But at the bottom of the CSS menu, you click on that one. In CS4, we're going to attach a style sheet. And the style sheet we're going to get, we're going to hit browse. We're going to go back to where my website was, website. And this is my style sheet here. So I'm going to choose and just hit OK. Now you notice that straight away that changes. Now if you notice, you see this drop down part here? That looks like that in the design view, but when we preview it, and we have to save it, and I'm going to make sure that I save it in the same folder as my others. Okay, see that that drops off because that's just where the drop down menu is anyway. And that is my header.